eat a healthy diet in the first three years of school, they'll likely have better reading skills. That's according to a new study. Our chief health editor, Dr. Parther Nandy, is here with us now. Good to see you. Good what are the kids eating? What are we talking about? This is good news because I just put one of my kids in preschool. So this is another study from Finland looking at how food affects reading skills. So 161 Finnish children were monitored grades one through three. The kids whose diets closely follow the Mediterranean diet, the Baltic Sea, and the Finnish diets did better in tests measuring reading fluency and comprehension. So amazing. We've heard a lot about the Mediterranean diet, but you mentioned two other ones, Baltic, yeah, Baltic Sea and, and Finnish. What are exactly. Those? So all of them basically are diets generally healthier than the standard Western diet, right? They're higher in vegetables, fruit, and berries, fish, whole grains, and unsaturated fats. They're also much lower in red meat, sugar, and saturated fats as well. So, so that's maybe what we're supposed to be aiming exactly. for, right? Less that's burgers. your prescription, exactly. I guess, right? Yeah, so my prescriptions. Here you go for parents who really need uh, some, some help here. So for kids four to eight years of age, here are my prescriptions. Kids eat a, one and a half cups of vegetables every single day. They can be raw, cooked, fresh, frozen, canned, dried, dehydrated, just get it in them. Uh, next, kids need uh, one and a half cups of fruit every day. Serve them fresh, canned, frozen, or dry. It doesn't really matter if they're whole, cut up, or pureed. Also, for grains, kids need two and a half ounce equivalents. That's any food made from wheat, rice, oat, cornmeal, or barley. An ounce is generally one slice of bread or a, a half cup of cooked rice or pasta. And serve four ounce equivalents of protein. Good choices, I think, are poultry, seafood, beans, peas and eggs. Also include our processed soy products, nuts and seeds. And finally, every day give your kids two and a half cups of dairy. Milk, yogurt, cheese, or fortified soy beverages. Also great options for them. You know, we talk about vegetables, and a lot of kids don't love their vegetables. I mean, my kids like to dip their vegetables in ranch, but <laughs> yeah. what else? What else can we do to get our kids so to I like think them? that, you know, have your kids pick out their vegetables in the supermarket. Mm -hmm. Gives them a sense of empowerment and pride to help out. Also, include them in the prep and work and make fun shapes and sizes to help them uh, get excited about trying new, veg trying new veggies and help them cook with you because they love that stuff they cook. It's the best thing they've ever had. Of course, yeah, right. right. It's I the best like thing that. My and it helps says. us in the process. Exactly. So, good idea. Dr. Nandy, thank you so much. You're welcome. Steven. Hey, you can get a new deal on a new.